so well as well. That's the first big chance of the game. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another match day vlog. And today we take on Derby County. Um, obviously haven't won since the end of November now. So it would be nice to um, get a result today. Obviously Dobbo misses out with a tight calf. Um, the back three remains unchanged from last week. From the first half I think. Um, Ash keeps his spot somehow. Um, I'll be honest, I really do think that Isis should start. Kane Ramsey, the deadline day signing is on the bench. As well Alfie May... Um, leading in the line with Ladapo as captain today. So, quite looking forward to it um, for some really peculiar reason. I said this last week as well. I just I don't know what it is at the moment. We're doing really, really poor, but I feel like I'm up for it. I'm up for it for some weird reason. Um, before we get into the video, I mentioned it last week. I mentioned it again. The Conquest Cup, um, I'm obviously arranging it. Um, make sure to check out the Instagram down below and if you can donate to the fundraiser then that'd be very very much appreciated. We have announced two players already, Luke Bennett and Cal the Dragon have been announced to be played at Ilkston Town. So any Derby fans watching, it's not too far. So Ilkston Town on the 25th of May. Make sure to check out the Instagram and all the details for that down below. Right, we're joined with Tom once again. Been a little while. It's been a while. Welcome back to the Valley. Um, how are you feeling ahead of this game? I am actually very positive, I'll be honest. Um, I know obviously Blackpool seemed like a good a good game, obviously the first half was a bit shocking, but the second half shows that, that we can obviously fight and get goals, so I'm positive for today's game. Score prediction? 3-2, Alfie mm -hmm. made brace and we're scoring a header from our corner today. So A 3-2, now I would ask who's going to score on the other team, but Blackie Taylor is injured, so um, obviously misses out today, which is quite helpful for yeah, us quite quite, helpful, quite positive yeah. for us um so hopefully we can get a result today it would be it would very be much like, yeah, like appreciated it. right ben it's been a little while um how are you feeling about this one negative <laughs> negative yeah i'm, I'm you know derby a good form we're on the other end of the spectrum no manager still so nathan jones is basically there, there. He's, in, he's yeah. literally he's in, he's in the ground today. he's in the ground today um you know, he, he's a a theatrical performer on the sideline as a good actor. He's a good actor. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Oscar. exactly. But I, I like that. So Nathan Jones, <laughs> I think, is a very good manager. <laughs> um, to be honest, um, yeah, he took Southampton down, but oh, well, Pre Prem's a bit different to League One at the moment. Um, and he and he's wanted a rebuild. He, he said it. He said it on Sky the other week that he wants a club that he can build back up. So obviously, what he'd done very well at Luton. Yep. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if he could do the same for us. Okay. Um, what's your score prediction for today's game? I haven't even thought about a score prediction. I have, um, on the spot, three-one Derby. Three-one Derby. Yeah. And who's going to score for us? He's having a think about it. I am having a think. Really I'm, having a think. I don't think Alfie May will score. No. The Dapo first goal, maybe? Potentially. Yeah, I'll go with the Dapo. But, um, yeah, yeah Alfie Mays, obviously. I think he might score, though, because um, his son got born. Or daughter, I can't remember his son or daughter. He had a child the other day. Child, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he had a child the other day. So, I think he'll be raring to go and, you know, score a goal and give that to, to his, his newborn. So, congratulations, Alfie. But, congratulations, yeah. Alfie. And, obviously, captain's on man today as well. So, he's, he's going to be right up for it today. He's going with a 3 1 derby. Um, half time here, 
we are one nil down. Uh, not really been many chances. In all honesty, thanks, Ben, mate. Um, no, nah, not really been many chances. Um, we gave them. We gave them a goal. In all honesty, um, we looked okay. Atmosphere was all right, and then we conceded. Hopefully, we can get uh, something in the second half. Um, we might. You never know. <laughs> we looked all right in spells, um, but you know, it's just been it's been a case of nothing in that final third again. That last pass. Um, we held on to possession well, but you know we've done that for quite a while now. But hopefully we can get a much needed, much needed point at least in the second half. Come on, shall we? This has been a case. The whole fucking game. They're going down so easily. Get up, you fucking man! Mad fouls they've been trying to win. Well, they have one. The ref brought into it. And now the keeper's gone down to make a fucking sub. Kill momentum. Ah, oh, it's tactical, but it is fucking frustrating. Go on. Go on, Alf. Me too. Oh, why didn't he shoot? Where do you start? You know, I'm I'm so worried about relegation. I genuinely am. I, I don't know what else to say. You know, we are lacking so much in the final third and we've got Alfie May and Freddie Ladapo up front. It's just so frustrating. That was all that was missing today was that final third. The, the transition between the defence and attack was slow. And there were certain players were just taking forever on the ball. But there was no options. There was no options for them to go for. Um, that hats off to Derby, you know, a second in the league. A lot of people will say they play really boring football. I think a lot of them, their own fans will say they play boring football. Um, you know, some of the they've got some really, really experienced players with the way that they go down. Um, they kill momentum really, really well. And as frustrating as it is to watch as an opposing fan, um, as long as it's getting results for them, I'm sure I'm sure they'll be happy. Like they're second in the league. Um Next week's going to be massive for us, though. Massive. Um, and Nathan Jones, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls out now. Um, obviously, we're waiting for the LMA to legally sign it all off. Hopefully that gets done, because we definitely need him in charge. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Make sure to check out the Conquest Cup. Link will be in the description. And hopefully, you know, I can try and be a bit more positive in a vlog next week. It's been 67 days without a win now. I'm going to leave you with how I feel from Nathan Jones. I, I, I feel physically sick, literally sick. I, I could be sick. I, 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 it's...